everyone. Welcome to my College Success Portfolio Defense. Um, I would like to start off. My name's Yvonne Armenta. I'm a senior at Metropolitan Arts and Tech High School. I was gonna do it like just based on the actual content of each artifact. Mm -hmm. So for my Project Truth, it would be, you know, history and women's rights. And mm -hmm. The defense is it. I mean, everything leads up to the defense. So um, all of the work that we do is mapping backwards from the final moment, which is when a student stands up in front of a panel of, of assessors to say, I am ready for college. In your groups, now what you're gonna do is each person is going to read his or her answer. It can be a simple or complex question because the answer is most likely going to be one that requires a lot of thinking. Metro just really, it actually does prepare you for college and they don't just make you do work just to do it. Everything that you do has a purpose. I want to welcome you all to the first of 2013 College Success Portfolio Defenses. <laughs> have a day that usually comes anywhere from a few weeks to a month before we actually start the real defenses, um, where staff spends an entire day on how to use the assessment tool. If this happens in the moment, you just roll with it. Okay. Do what you, you know, you know how to, you've been doing this for four years, you know how to manage yeah. it. So a student chooses to defend early, it's usually an honor. I'm really nervous. Yes. <laughs> I hope this doesn't happen. <laughs> Yvonne is a remarkable young woman. She came in as a ninth grader with a strong academic identity. She, she knows that she is a student. She loves being a student. Yvonne has been with us all four years of high school. We know her. We love her. Without further ado, let's give it up for Yvonne Armenta. You have to pass a presentation in order to graduate on stage with the rest of your class. And that's a big deal for everyone, you know? Hello everyone, my name is Yvonne Armenta. Welcome to my College Success Portfolio Defense. I know that I have to have my argument, my metaphor, and my the three artifacts that I'm going to be presenting. I am the process of an Aztec warrior using the slingshot as a weapon. The slingshot may not seem like the most obvious or even best way of winning battle, but if the right stones are chosen, you are well prepared and thoughtful. Um, victory is guaranteed. My first artifact is Project Truth. The essential question for this um, artifact was how do you find the truth and how do you get people to listen? The task <coughs> is to focus on an issue in the Bay Area and compare it to a movement from the past. I chose prostitution and women's rights. Through my essay, I was able to provide with evidence that was concrete because it came from someone who actually experienced what I was talking about. And not only that, but I was able to analyze that evidence and really prove to people why it was correct. In your metaphor, what is the battle? The battle is, is, you know, fighting those statistics, those like, okay, you come from a low-income, single, ran household, but you're not, you know, you, there's not a huge chance of you going to college because your mom didn't go to college. For me, that battle is saying, oh, I'm going to college and I'm getting my degree and my mom's going to be super proud of me. Can you talk about how this artifact um, shows your success and your growth? I grew as a person because I also, I, I always get frustrated with research, but I learned to, to keep going and to keep trying. Um, my second artifact is the election Spanish brochure. This was assigned in Spanish class. We were learning, we were learning the Spanish language in, on um, PowerSpeak. It's an online website. We, while this was happening at the same time, in history class, we were also learning about the propositions on the 2012 California ballot. Um, our task was to translate our team platform paper to Spanish and create a visually appealing brochure to pass out at our exhibition. I think it was the first time that I ever talked in, in Spanish to someone in a, in a professional way. I talk at home all the time, but it was very different to see how I talk in Spanish with my mom, with my brother, and how I would relate this type of important information to people that are actually about to go vote because that's such a serious thing. What do you see as the connection between knowing and doing? I feel that knowing, when you know, like I said, you're, you're educated and through education comes empowerment. The questions were pretty tough. I mean, they're the teachers and they, they're, they cause you to, to think deeper about everything that you're learning. So of course they're gonna ask you tough questions. My third artifact is my literally literary lens analysis essay. The task for this artifact was to read The Stranger by Albert Camus and, al and analyze it through a literary lens. I chose the psychoanalytic lens. Um, where specifically did, were you asked to think critically in this project, um, not based in the sort of characters on development? 
what would actually convince people that what I was that my claim was correct and it was important to not only choose the right evidence but know how to explain that evidence and how that evidence related to your claim. I am ready for college. I have a clear goal in mind. I am willing to accomplish that goal. Helping people is my passion and the communication skills and thinking critically skills I have gained throughout high school have prepared me for this part of my journey. I'm ready for college. I'm ready to move on. I'm ready to go past high school, go past college, go beyond, and just do things that interest me and that I have a passion for. Yvonne has currently been on stage for an hour and 20 minutes. So um, let's give Yvonne a huge round of applause. Okay, um, if you guys could step outside, we will now go into deliberation and we'll call you back in to communicate the decision. Yvonne, we would like to give you, first off, congratulations on delivering an excellent defense um, and uh, being here today early. We're going to give you some feedback and then ultimately de uh, let you know our decision. Um, we were incredibly impressed by your sense of leadership and your commitment to empowering your community. We think that you could have been a little bit more specific for some of your uh, evidence. So, for example, uh, in your second artifact, when you talked about how you learned about all these different ways of communicating and how you could use those, maybe having an example of, of what that would look like. On the plus side, Yvonne, I thought that you talked about lenses in a really sophisticated way. Yvonne, I think that it would be really helpful for um, you to be pretty explicit about where you've seen your growth um, within each artifact. I just hope you know how much admiration I have for you, and I, I think I can speak for the panel. Um, with that being said, we are, we are ecstatic to pass you on this defense. It was awesome. I was so happy. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you. Oh, I hope it feels so good. Literally everything that I had been working so hard towards, you know, maintaining good grades, being as good of a student as I could, it, it really just all paid off in that one moment when they told me I passed. Thank you.